And I truly believe anybody can be, you know, healthy at any size and you can be happy at any size. You don't have to be skinny to be healthy and happy, but you do have to look at what is going on metabolically to be healthy. And when things are off, mm. you got to look at, well, how do I fix that? So I can live the longest, you know, joyous, vibrant life that I can be living. Yeah, definitely. And I was having a conversation with a lady at the weekend who is a very, I would say a very healthy um, BMI range. She was telling me about some of the struggles she's having with mood swings, with tiredness or energy levels. She's probably approaching the perimenopausal age, so early 40s. Mm -hmm. um, and she was telling me, if, you know, like there's kind of a, an automatic perception when she's sharing the way she feels with other people. Like, oh, yeah, but you're skinny, you're fine, or your weight's okay, you're fine. And she's like, but I'm not because I know that I don't feel healthy. And I was asking her some questions about what she eats and she's having these very, you know, low dips in, in mid-afternoon. She's um, solving them or trying to solve them with bars of chocolate and biscuits and things like that and then feeling even worse afterwards. And we were chatting about it and just saying how, you know, it, it's not about the size that you are. Yes, when somebody is overweight and if they are in that obese category, it is going to put a lot of risk on onto your health and you are likely to be struggling with what we're talking about today with, with the insulin issues. But likewise, if you are a healthy weight or even underweight, if your diet isn't good and it's one that's made up of a lot of carbs and not balanced with these fats and proteins you're talking about, you are still at risk from these challenges that insulin causes and you can still be at risk of type 2 diabetes and other conditions that insulin resistance leads to so that that's just something to call out that I think people need to be aware of we're not talking here only about people who are struggling with excess weight this is for anyone it's something to be aware of and certainly I'm, I'm pretty sure in the US from what I know like in the UK this is a real challenge with kids, isn't it? Because so many kids have a diet predominantly made up of high processed foods, very few whole foods, the things that are as they were when they come out of the ground or off a plant. Um, so, you know, it's something to be aware of for your full family, not just yourself, isn't it? Yeah, and kids, I mean, when it goes to, I don't work with children, but kids want their parent you're as a parent you are your child's superhero and if we set examples for our children they will follow and it's it's wonderful when you know my one of my daughters is um she's in college and she lives in her own apartment and she sends me photos of her meals all the time and i love it that you know she's taking what she's learned here at home because i happen to love to cook and she's taken it to a whole nother level. She loves Asian fusion. So all of her dishes now that she's creating up at school are Asian focused. And I love it that, you know, I, she's taken everything that she's learned here and applied it to her life and is moving on. And as parents, I think that, you know, yeah, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've taken the easy way out and, and I have a, I have a, uh, a Kentucky fried chicken, which I don't know if you have that there, but it's fried chicken. <laughs> I have a fried chicken love. Um, and I partake at times. You have to include the fun foods in your life. You know, that's important yeah. too. It, it feeds your soul. Um, but there's a time, a place, and a way to incorporate it and for the diabetics to prevent that blood sugar spike from happening because you don't want to stay up um, too long. You, you know, you want that even... Um, that even wave flow, you don't want a tidal wave hitting you, not a monsoon. Um, but there is a time and a place for it all, but not as a means of um, sustenance. And there's yeah. so many strategies and so many ways to make, quote unquote, fast food at home. That could be healthy, nutritious, support a growing child's body, and, you know, keep aligned with the intentions of the parents' goals. 